This request is not ready at the moment. What's this? Guess I could do that for the time being. <coughs> Dude, so it hurts when he eats. Man, poor him. This was supposed to be our little adventure. <laughs> oh. All we need is each other. Uh. That's what you said. You all right there? Who are you? Oh, it's okay, ma'am. I don't mean you no harm. <laughs> well, it makes no difference now if if an outlaw or a wild animal doesn't get me starvation. Well, <laughs> we came out here from the city in search of a different life. Something true, something real. All this squandering and indulgence, we wanted to strip it away, to find something authentic. <laughs> what a pair of fools. Is there a train station or a town I can take you to? No, I can't give up now. He wouldn't want that. I, I can't have it. I'm going to do this for you, Cal. Well, I'll, um, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Is there anything left for you to eat? Nothing. No, we didn't know the first thing about hunting. We couldn't even catch a darn mouse. Hmm. If you need any poisonous berries, though, I'm a natural at finding those. Hmm. Is that what killed him? Well, you ain't gonna last much longer out here if you don't know how to hunt. Come on, I'll show you. All right. But you better not try any funny business. You know, I may be weak, but I still know how to stand up for myself. Oh, I don't doubt it. Come on. We should start with something small, don't you? I kill it, you skin it. Sound fair? Skin it? But I, I don't even have a knife with me. Don't worry, you won't need one. Now, take a look around for any movement. I don't see anything. Shh, just keep your eyes peeled. There. Look. A rabbit. Okay, stay quiet and still watch me. Go on. Time to get your hands dirty. How do I... I mean... What do I do? Just hold the legs tight and pull the skin away quickly. Should come right off. I think I've seen enough blood for one day. <laughs> Do you mind if we head back now? Sure. I'll walk you back. You did good. Oh, Lord. God fucking damn it. I don't have a shotgun on me. Oh, no. We're done for now. Wolf, stay back. Just to smell the dead rabbit. What are we going to do? Reload! Oh, thank God. You 
see if, if, if you hadn't been here, I, I'd be dead now. You got a rifle? Yes. Well, my, my husband's. I suggest you learn how to use it. Now, come on, let's get you home. Thank you. That was the first time anyone's done anything nice for us. For me, since we got here. Nature provides, but she sure don't always make it easy. That she doesn't. I'd invite you in, but I'm dead on my feet, if you'll forgive the pun. <laughs> Please do call again sometime, though. A good rest, and hopefully I'll be a new woman. You take care, man. Okay. Okay, hey all, back on Red Dead Redemption after discovering that Arthur has some lung disease, pretty much fatal back in the time. Uh, I don't know if there's any way that he can escape this, so either the story ends with him dead, dying from it, or I, I have no idea, but I don't think... Like, because he's the main character, I want to think that a cure would be found and Arthur is saved from it, but I don't know. Maybe just the story ends with Arthur just, you know, passing out from it after his and Dutch's dream are have come true, you know? Uh, we'll see. That is so much shit. Terrible. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> How you feeling, ma'am? Much better than I've felt in a long time. I, if we hadn't caught that rabbit, I don't think I'd have made it another day. Well, you look better. Better and determined, the thanks to you. <laughs> and if I'm gonna learn to hunt, I figured it was time I learned how to use Cal's gun properly. How's that working out for you? Well, let's just say my prey is looking decidedly unscathed. <laughs> but the end of labor is to gain leisure. Is that not what Aristotle said? Uh, I, I don't know much about Aristotle, <laughs> but uh, well, I know a thing or two about shooting a gun. Look, you gotta hold steady and firm. Hmm? You just focus, breathe slowly, and always pull the trigger on empty lungs. Here, I'll show you. Okay. Calm and steady. Don't snatch at the trigger. You make it look so easy. Alright. You try now. Remember to breathe. Would you look at that? Oh, come on. on the inhale. Shoot on the exhale. My turn. I'll shoot a few more this time. Why? Oh no, that wretched rabbit's back. Over there, you see? It's been a thorn on my side. <laughs> Show off. All right, let me try again. <coughs> Come on. She's, he's just staring at her. Did you get it? Nice. I hit it. I hit it, didn't I? <laughs> what can I say? Thank you. But I still have some of the rabbit left that I salted up. No, keep it. Would you join me for a meal? It's the least I can do. Go ahead and take a seat at the table. Food is just about done. <clears throat> the bow is going to go through the chair. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, it's, it's good and hot. I hope you enjoy it. You helped me to catch it, after all. <laughs> bon appetit. Oh, it's not gonna go well. Please enjoy. And thank you again for everything. I really am grateful. Uh, it was nothing. You're a good man. Well, you don't really know me. I know enough. There's always more to find in ourselves. You helped me to see that. My husband, Cal, was such an optimist. I found that to be very contagious. Mm -hmm. But there's a fine line between optimism and naivete. Naivete. And we were both born with a silver spoon. Banquets, butlers, valets. <coughs> Sounds terrible. It was just so many people. No, so damn it, things. I knew it. I was lost in it. I was crushed by it. My father was very overbearing. Then we came out here and I got crushed by this. You know, I pictured myself picking fresh Look. vegetables, sipping homemade wine, writing a great novel. But I turned out to be a far more pathetic anti-heroine than any I could ever pen. Oh, well. <coughs> I reckon you're gonna be just fine. Are you all right? Can I get you some water? No, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I just, um... <coughs> Thank you for this. <coughs> I think it's it's best if I if I make. <coughs> Stay right there. It's it's gonna be okay. Oh, for fuck's sake! <coughs> How'd she get him on the bed? I mean, she's strong. With all the guns on the back, that must have been uncomfortable. <laughs> My dear Arthur, I have gone out hunting. Not a phrase I thought any pen of mine would ever ink, but nonetheless mm -hmm. one I am very proud to finally be able to write. I am so very grateful to you for all the help and encouragement you've given me. There is some money in a box on the nightstand. Please take it. I have far more than I need back in the city, and I'd like you to have it. Please take care, and remain true to the man I know you are. Do I take it? Like, if she's not there giving it to me, I won't. the red. It's still stormy and my horse got to be all the way down there. Working it all out. Once and for all, Arthur. Mm. What now? We're back. And I'm sitting here. And I am contemplating the great journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move. Those oily actors of a mediocre justice, the Pinkertons, and their benefactor, the depressing millionaire, Leviticus Cornwall, they want us, Arthur. They want us. And they are going to have us. Well, maybe they ain't the problem. Meaning? I don't know. It's just, well, I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. <laughs> but the, the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't, I ain't played my... My final move, but... I guess I'm more interested in saving lives than winning a chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly. No doubt. What about the women? You sound like Hosea. I miss. Um, I asked you a question. What do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we gonna run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They... Chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my back? Always, Dutch. But there's more than your back to worry about. You need more money. We've been on the run for months now. And I seen you killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to. And I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we there just... There is country 
In Roanoke Ridge, past Butcher Creek, I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you could take folks up that way. Micah. And I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. Arthur, I ain't got it. I just need time. I need time and no traitors. There's a traitor. That's the problem. We're not figuring out who is going to kill us all. Be right with me. Always. Where are we headed? Up past Butcher Creek. It's Murphy Brute Country. That's why I'm asking you to ride with me. <laughs> I understand. What are we doing there? We're looking for a place to hold up. Even the law won't follow us up there too willingly. Yeah. I did some scouting up there while your boys were away. And? Mm. You'll see. Mm. <clears throat> okay. Let's see what's going on. The stagecoach went missing. Jesus. They must be in the cave. All right. Let's get on with this. Okay. What you think? I'm gonna head into the cave or flush them out with dynamite. Dynamite. We'll dynamite flush them be out. safer. Yep. Yeah. Let's be quiet and hope they don't come out. Let's get this over with. Okay. Get in a bit closer and then throw it into the cave. Hold on, I don't know how to use this. Light that stick and throw it in there. How do I throw it? What the fuck? Come on, how do I throw the dynamite? Whoops. What do I have? Just that. Here they come!
Let's get that poor girl out of the cage. Is it this? Me. Oh yeah, it's this one. Just calm down. Please don't kill me. We ain't gonna hurt you. It's okay, miss. Stay away from me. Where are you from? Antisburg. Yeah, I okay. can. What do we do with her? We take her there and I'll go get the others. Sure. Miss, you okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. Yours. Up at the top of the hill. It's near the blacksmith. Mona. Ma! Ma! Meredith! Oh, she's alive! Oh, she's alive! You saw some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, ma'am. Murphy group got her. Oh, my darling. How did you manage oh, to? I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. Hmm, no. Okay. Oh, I accept it. Thank you. Shit. I wanted to decline. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> what do they make be accept? Usually that's when you just cancel everything. Well, whatever. This is down. Oh no. She's here now? You leave me alone. You just leave me alone. Thanks, buddy. Oh. That's where. Arthur got the sickness. It's the husband. Has to be. How you get on? Okay. Found a girl. I took her home. Oh. You and Micah find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend, Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah. He's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Micah and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. So did you miss me? Oh, I found no. her drunk in Saint Denis. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. It's funny, you suck of shit. Back Who and you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly, God, all my calm down. I won't be ignored, Dutch Vanderlyn. I am in him. I ain't her. Or any of your stooges. Calm yourself. You don't know me, nothing. Miss. I don't know you, nothing. Nothing. Okay. I'll spit in your eye. I did. I told them! I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah, I told them, and I tell them again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who what? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery, and I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard! Go on, She's shoot me! Crazy. She ain't worth it. You told on <laughs> no, me! You're you not betrayed so now, me! Why? So it's her. Just calm down. Arthur? <laughs> She's a fool. Get her out of here. You know the rules. You are not so big now. Are we, your majesty? You... <gasps> oh, fuck. She knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging. Right. Get back to work. Yeah. It was Molly. I thought for sure it was Mr. Pearson. Oh my god. What a mess.
Arthur is spitting everywhere, everyone's getting contagious. Oh my god. You're a nasty woman, Miss Crenshaw, a nasty woman. You think I wanted to shoot her? You seem to like it. I saw that speedy look in your eyes. You're drunk again. And you're a fucking that Karen. She, the she did no such thing. She was in love. You sour faced old crow. God damn you. Another Murder. damn morning. Let's hope for a better day. Dude, this family's breaking. She's in a bad way. She don't know what she's saying. This is hitting everyone hard in different ways. I don't know. Well, try to keep your head straight. Well, oh, look at her. Karen. Sadie, we can do Sadie quiz, but I'm gonna end the video right here. Man, what a mess, dude. So, Molly was the traitor. Oh my god. I mean, I knew she was bad, but I didn't expect her to betray in that way. Oh my god. What a disaster. Anyways, I hope you, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a wonderful day. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Okay, you're on. That's the spirit.